Okay, now we're going to look at the, uh, um, we just learned the, the, the original baseline to this uh, part and how to work with a metronome. Now we're going to also um, work at uh, playing the chords that uh, are often associated with this style of T-Bone Walker's music and a number of other players like Louis Jordan and, and uh, some of these great swing and jump players that came out of the 40s and 50s. Um, many times the piano player would be playing these, these offbeat chords uh, that I'm going to demonstrate, but that has, uh, that's been adopted by guitar also as well over the years. Uh, uh, players like Stevie Ray would use that off a ninth chord, where you're hitting these chords off the beat, one, and two, and three, and four, and we call that a flat tire groove a lot of the time uh, when we play that in a more modern day uh, application. Um, but back in the days of T-Bone Walker, um, I just kind of refer to these as the chords that make the music jump, the jump chords. They're hit on the offbeat, so it's one and two and three and four. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate that right now for this tune, Pop Ain't Salty. Now, I'm going to use the chords forms, by the way, G6 that we played earlier and um, C9. And this has a 5-4 uh, turnaround, so we'll be using D9 and C9 also. So really, just mainly those three chords as we play this, okay? thing that I didn't mention was uh, I want to include here is the, a little bit about the right hand as well. Uh, I'm with my right hand I'm playing uh, an upstroke on every one of these chords. So that's an important technique that needs to be talked about a little bit. All these offbeats I'm doing I was playing. The other thing you can do you can hit the downbeat as a muted stroke like so one and two and three and four. I'll stay on the one for a second. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. So I'm kind of percussing a scratch through the chords, muting my left hand when I do that. Uh, so this technique re really requires both hands, but I'm going to do that again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. So try that groove through the changes and work with that. It's a great uh, uh, groove to be very familiar with. Um, you're going to need it in all kinds of different tempos, but it takes a little getting used to uh, first. 